Hello and welcome to the 13th ARCHICAD video tutorial for beginners. In this video we're going to be talking about the fill tool. So if you go over here on the left, you can select your fill tool over here. And let's go through all of the settings here on top. So first, the geometry method. We have the polygonal option. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just do a bunch of clicks. Then you have your polygon. The second geometry method is the rectangular one, so you do one click and then the second click and you have your rectangle. And then the third one is the rotated rectangular. So you do the two clicks at what, whichever angle you want and the third click is going to be the width of your fill. In order to change the appearance of a fill, what you have to do is you have to select it and over here I usually change it to a drafting fill, which is this first option over here. What you need to know about fills is that their appearance depends on two pans. So you will have one foreground pan and one background pan. This first fill that we have is a 25% pattern fill, which means that the top color will, will show at a level of 25% and underneath will have the background color. So if I change this to like, let's say this bright red what we have is a mix between the foreground and the background color if i change this fill to a grid you will see that the foreground color is the gray and the background color is the this red color if we're gonna go to airspace what we're gonna see is exclusively the background color if we go to the background color is basically the same thing as an airspace and then the foreground color shows you only the foreground color. What you need to know about the background color is that you can select this option here which is transparent. So if now we select, I don't know, this grid diagonal on the back, the back is not white but it's actually transparent. So if we drag this fill over here now it's underneath this other one, so we're going to right click and display order bring to front. You're going to see that in the background it is transparent, but because we have this other fill underneath it shows up grey. Other types of fills are all of these roof tiles. Again, we have the foreground color visible, the background color transparent. You can change that to be whichever other color you like. If you put this background color transparent and you select the 50% option then you have a partly transparent fill. Okay, the next thing you need to know about the appearance of a fill is that you can change the outline type so you can ev either have it be a solid line you can have it be any of these other custom lines And like I've shown in previous videos, you can create your own custom lines. I'm going to link that video below. Also from here, you can change the contour pen. So if you want your pen to be a different color, you have it right there. For certain type of pattern fills, so let's select a, let's say, pavement fill. You have the option of, um, of displaying the pattern in different ways. So you can either have it be normal or you can have this uh, line that appears if you select this option which lets you rotate the pattern according to what you want. You can have this third option which gives you two lines and with this you can stretch out the pattern however you want. So that is something useful to know. Another thing that you have here is that you can show the area text. So um, if you have something that you want to measure, you can use a fill to do so. So that is basically it for these quick settings over here. Uh, I have a previous video in which I showed how you can create your own custom patterns for the fills. I am going to link that one um, on the screen right now. Another thing that you should know is how you can edit a fill. In order to do that, you have to select your fill, make sure that you have your fill tool selected, and then you can either click on these points 
and move them or click on them and um, fill a chamfer you can offset all of the edges so make it bigger make it smaller you can do that either by clicking on the point or on the edge in the same way you can offset the edge you can also extend neighboring edges so there's all kinds of things that you can do with it another thing that's pretty important to know is how to add to your fill is by using this one and depending on what geometry method you have selected here you can add uh, to your fill so you do one click on the edge and then let's change this geometry method to polygonal and then the area that you drew was added to your fill another thing that you need to know is how to subtract from your fill so you click here and you select this option and then you can draw whatever you want and you're just going to subtract from your fill you don't always have to uh, select this option here so let's say that you're doing something else with your fill you have it and you have maybe some lines drawn underneath here what you can do is you can select your fill make sure you have your fill tool selected and start from a point that's already on the screen and then draw something and then that area will automatically be subtracted if you have a circle let's just do it with the arcs the center point and radius construction method in order to subtract from this fill the area of the circle you just click it and then make sure you have your fill tool selected and then control and click and then the area of the circle was subtracted from the fill whenever you do these changes if you have the area text visible this will always change depending on the modifications that you bring to the fill when you are using the fill tool you can also split it if you want so you can just click here and then do two clicks and now you have two independent well in this case three because this little part is separated from this one so you have three independent fills in order to do that I'll show you again you select it click on split and then do one click the other click and then the third click and the side that you made your third click on is going to remain the selected fill and that is basically all you need to know about the fill tool in Archicad like I said in order to make your own custom pattern fills for Archicad you should check out my other video on that okay hope this helped Bye.